Hello and welcome to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at sound again and not just sound though, we are actually looking at clip connections. Now if you don't know what I mean by clip connections, um, you can see in this timeline we've got these little green dashes. If I just zoom in for you here, you can see if we've got a green dash here, We've got green dashes here, here, and here, and basically they just show where all of your uh, subsequent media is connected um, to the main storyline. Um, now, obviously, without track-based media, everything is attached to a primary piece of footage. You can see that there's a line here that connects the dining room sound 11 to the dining room footage uh, 006. So what happens when the media connects to the wrong clip? Now, you might be thinking, is that possible? Well, yes it is. If we just um, play the opening of this scene... So, Lucas... You can see that we've got a little bit of dialogue that starts on this clip and carries forward onto this clip, but you can see that this is the actual matching clip because as she talks... Lucas... Um, her voice shows up. However, the secondary... this piece of audio is actually connected to the first clip, so let's say we were to extend this clip the opening clip, and then play back. So, Lucas. You can see now she just sort of mimes without actually saying anything because the sound has stayed with the first audio clip uh, rather than the one we want it to stay with. So, how do we go about changing which clip uh, the audio is connected to? If we just press Command Z to undo that. Basically, it's very easy. If you don't hold down Command and Alt or Command and Option, um, I know my English uh, calling the button Alt confuses some people, um, hold down Command and the Option key, and then whatever you click in the timeline, you change the connection point. You can see that the connection point has changed from here to here. The connection point is now there. So now, if we were to extend this out, you can see that the audio actually stays with the clip we want it to stay with. And when we play it back, so, Lucas. everything remains perfectly in sync. Um, so you can see it's very easy to do, very simple, and really quick. So I recommend you start assigning or connecting the audio um, to, the, to the main storyline clip that you actually want it to be attached to, because Final Cut does a really good job of helping you keep everything in, in sync. Uh, you may not have had this problem on other non-linear non -linear editors, however uh, once you start playing things around uh, and you have loads of tracks of audio and things become inflexible, this is a really handy tool. So just make sure that all your um, audio clips and such are connected to the right uh, pieces of footage. And let's say you didn't want to see the audio clips um, sorry, the actual connection lines, um, maybe you have so many audios that, um, that it's actually getting um, messy, you can turn them off by clicking on this switch here and uh, checking the show connections box. And you can see now all the connection lines are gone. However, um, everything is still connected, it just doesn't show you the lines. So we know that the dining room footage is um, connected there so you know that it's going to stay in sync. And then, um, when you even click on this um, piece of sound, it even still shows you the line, um, and we can still move it as such. It's just, generally speaking, it's not going to show us the lines, which um, now makes everything look a bit neater. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this was uh, useful. And remember to subscribe and share this with your friends. Uh, the footage is from my upcoming Minecraft short film, which I'm really excited to share with you guys at the end of the week. I'm thinking Friday night at 8. I'll see you guys there.